Hi everybody, I'm Anneli. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be, I will be showing you guys a look with the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Volume 2 palette as well as using the Alamar Cosmetics, uh, the Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio and the Colorette Blush Trio. They're both in medium tan. So I'm going to be using this and their brushes that they just came out with. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, continue watching and just make sure you subscribe and like this video. Alrighty guys, enjoy. Hi everybody. So I'm back to do another look. So I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette. I've already used this one. Um, I ordered it online when it launched and then I got it on Sunday. I think it launched on a Thursday and I got it that next Sunday. But the shade came broken. This not my journey shade, this purple one. So I was able to go exchange it at the actual Morphe store or not exchange it. I had to return it first and then purchase it again. And the only thing is that they don't um, return the shipping cost. So that sucked. Um, but I mean, at least I have a local Morphe that I was able to do that. So I ended up picking it up and I already said I wasn't gonna. But then I, I like all these colors. So I did a look, I think just with like um, the neutral colors up here at work and stuff. So I'm probably going to use neutral again. Um, maybe like a darker look. So I already primed my eyes. I have on the P. Louise and Mama Mitchell Acid Rain um, blank canvas shade. Uh, I like the primer on the eyes. I had picked it up a while ago at the Morphe store. So I already put them on my eyelids. I put a little tiny bit because that's really like thick. So and then I got the brush sets from Alamar Cosmetics. I got the eye one and the complexion set. Um, I already had their original one. So those ones I already have. So now I have all their brushes. And I also picked up their new bronzer kit. Um, Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio. I got mine in the medium tan one, I think. Yeah, medium tan. And these are the shades. So it's like so it's like a banana brightening under eye one and then a bronzer and a deepener is what it says. So I'm going to give these a try and I picked up a blush trio. And this one is the medium tan one also. So let me make sure that thing doesn't fall. So I got these one. It's like a um, peachy pink and like berry color here. So I'm going to give these a try as well for the face. So I'm going to go in with the pink blending brush in the trio. And I'm going to pick up Love Handles. This one right here. I'm going to go in with that one. has a lot of kick up in the pan. And then I'm just going to buff that out in the crease so I'm tapping it on and then buffing it or windshield wiper motions and I'm just extending it out Uh, grateful. This one right here to deepen it up. I'm gonna go in with the same brush. Okay. 
and then just go in the outer crease and I'm tapping it in like this this palette is pretty pigmented and like I feel like the matte shades are really buttery I do have her first um launch I don't think it was called volume one I think it was just the Jaclyn Hill palette but I don't I don't know I didn't really use it that much because they they were very like neutral but I don't know like I'd rather do the coconuts palette from Colourpop because even though those are neutral, I don't know, they're cool colors too, and like, I like the the shimmers more than I like that whole palette, so it's like, I have it there, but I never bust it out. But these colors, I feel like I would use this palette more, because even their neutral shades, they're more like, on the orangey, like, warm side. And the other ones felt more cool to me, or looked more cool. decisions I can do thought and odd yeah this one right here this shimmer so I'm gonna do it with my finger and just tuck it on very nice This is MAC 242, yeah, see, and then I'm gonna go into the Talia shade right here, this gold one, well, let me just give it, it's not really picking it up on the brush, let's see, oh, it does show up, just not, as much as I thought. Let's see, I packed more on. There we go. Like I have to press on the pan a lot for it to show up on the brush. But I can't really do it with my finger in there because it's like a really small space. Just gonna clean off some of it on my color switch. Then I'm gonna go in with like an orange color. I'm gonna go into these two, feeling myself in homebody, like dipping into both of them to kind of deepen this part up here. So I'll just take off any excess, which a lot came out. And just like that. And then I'm gonna go back in with the makeup shack brush to buff. And then this part I wipe off with the makeup wipe, so it's fine. So just circular motions, and then back and forth. I'm not gonna do a wing, but just um, on my lashes with the Clinique, pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen. I'm just on my lashes.
So I'm going to go ahead and clean my under eyes, put on mascara, do my foundation, and then I'll come back for the bronzer blush part and the highlighter, um, and then I'll finish my under eyes at that time. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have my base on. I have my, let's see, let's see, what did I use? I used my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade number three um, after I put my e.l.f. Putty Primer as my primer and then I put that and then I went in with my Dior Forever Skin Glow in shade 3WO so there's that I did do the Cover FX little liquid bronzer drops but I didn't do too much so I could still do the Alamar um, I did my concealer which was the Milani something or other you think I know because these are the same things I always use Milani Conceal and Perfect and I keep wanting to call it Milani Perfect and Conceal. So Conceal and Perfect, uh, shade 140 and 125 under the nose. I blended that out. I don't have any powder because I wanted to go in with the brightening powder that's on here. Cosmo. Their brightening brush. It's this like pointed um, brush. And I'm going to go in with I'm Woke, this banana powder. And I'm going to really hope it doesn't mess anything up. I'm just going to have it and then, okay it doesn't have fallout so that's good I'm just gonna go in okay okay doesn't seem to be oxidizing or anything like that um It's nicely. Okay, okay. Okay. And then. Oh, I totally do see it brightening. Okay, I'm going to put some here too because that's where I put the lighter concealer. And then a little bit here. Clean up. Okay. Let me just first do my. I could do this. Um. Oh no, it's a bronzer brush. This is a complexion brush. I'll go in with the complexion brush from Alamar Cosmetics and go into my. Trying to find my hourglass powder. Okay, go into my hourglass ambient powder and dim light. I'm gonna just go over pretty much all my face uh, to kind of blend all the powders, like where I put the brightening powder right there. So that this is the bronzer brush so let's go in with the bronzer here so I think it's yeah soltera this one right here just gonna go in and then tap it up Ooh, it's pigmented it's nice that's nice
diffuser. I feel like me the brush itself is too dense for it to be like a bronzer brush for me. So let me go in with a powder one. This is a BH Cosmetics. It's in the in the rose gold set. This one's number two. So I'm just gonna go in with that one. And then just still pick up the Sortera shade in the middle just to kind of bring it up. And then, yeah, that's a lot easier for me to bronze with. And then with the, let's see, highlight first. And then I like to do the blush after. Just going to go in with my Amrezy ABH highlighter. Um, Makeup Shack T38 brush. Go in and highlight with that. The very top. And bring it up here. Where the light catches, it's right here. Right here. And then on the other side. Right here. Let's see. This one I'm looking forward to. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'm going to go in with Isla. This middle one right here. Just just that one because I have heard that these are really pigmented. So I'm gonna go in lightly. Let me see my blush brush and smash box. Um, build the build cheek brush is yeah this one right here so we're just gonna go into Isla and then get some and bring it up <gasps> so pretty Ooh. pretty sure why not nice nose okay so I'm just gonna do a little bit under the eyes or under like the flash line um I'm gonna go in with I'm just gonna mix these two grateful and my man uh these two that I had mixed earlier up top, and I'm just gonna put that on the lower lash line, put mascara, and then I'll come back for the waterline and the lips. Alrighty, so I put on my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir mascara. It's the same one I have on the top lashes, I just put it on the bottom lashes. And then I got my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eye Pencil in some sort of clear nude shade. And just putting that on my waterline. up the Alamar Cosmetics lip liners and Las Desnudes as I got the shade Coqueta the darker one and I also got the other one Dulce I don't know if she has another one maybe she does but I'm not sure so I'm gonna do Dulce this one right here and I already took off the um, foundation for my lips And then I picked up a uh, lipstick from MAC, so I think it's one of the newer ones that came out. Um, matte lipstick in shade Yash, yeah, yeah, Yash, I don't know, Y-A-S-H. So it's in their clear packaging. It's a pretty nude. Mm -hmm. 
and just because I'm on on Alamar Cosmetics kit, I could do one of their glosses because I picked some up. So I have what is this one? Coqueta or Mommy Spice Latte? Oh my God, they're tiny. Uh, I'm gonna go in with Coqueta because that one's more of a nude, and the Spice Latte one is like a pinky reddish um, sheen to it. It's really pretty. I do wear that one too but because those are in my like everyday bag so i'm just gonna go in with this one mm. i don't really smell so that's good would it go because this one it the i'm in it color that everybody's been using is a pinky purple shift but mm, sure why not sure sure it's really pretty in person it's like something different I like that. It's really buttery too, this shade. Whoops. And then my eyebrow gel. Um, ABH clear brow gel. I also have on my uh milk makeup kush fiber gel and grind just to give it a little bit more color because i i just used the pencil today the benefit precisely my brow but just so i can get crunchy i like the abh clear gel for the crunchy brow i'm gonna go in with the catrice prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray um and I got a little fan, so I'm gonna use that too. So. So, yeah, this is the look that I did. I will be using this more because I bought it. Might as well use it. And I do like it. So, I want to use that one more. The Amrezy um, one. Um, I have a crap ton of palettes. So, I got to figure out how to use them all. Uh, but, yeah. Hope you guys like this look. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next. I want to do different um like the purples next so i'll probably do that but yeah i hope you guys like this video subscribe and comment and go check out my instagram and let me know what you guys think Alrighty, guys i'll see you later bye